What is up car addicts? In this video I'll be talking about the top 10 vehicles that I really want to see in the next major GTA Online update or future updates in general for GTA. I usually make a top 5 or top 10 car prediction video, but for this one I wanted to tailor it more towards what I want to see in the game rather than what I think Rockstar would most likely add in the game. I can still make a prediction video later on if you guys would like, let me know down below in the comments. And before we get into it, I always get those few comments from people saying, oh that car you want already exists in the game, why are you saying you want it? Well before you comment that, please do some research as some cars may look like others in real life, but some people forget that that wasn't the intended primary design from Rockstar. There are many cars in GTA that have a wide range of design cues from different cars, but we need to remember that the overall design is what needs to be taken into account. Not one tail light or a front bumper or a specific side skirt, it's the entire design. Anyways, starting off with number 10, the Mazda RX-7 FD. This car is well known for being a highly modifiable with that infamous rotary engine. I've been wanting one of these in GTA for quite a while. I feel it would be very fitting in the game along with other JDM cars we already have like the Jester Classic and the LG Retro. Moving on to number 9, a modern Camaro. I would preferably like the 6th gen ZL1 because of its aggressive distinct styling, but honestly I wouldn't mind either the 5th or 6th gen Camaro. And to quickly note, like I said before, I will get the comments, oh the Dominator GTX has a similar front end to that car that you want. Again, Dominator GTX is primarily a Mustang. You know, some styling cues here and there from a few cars, that doesn't really make the Dominator GTX a Camaro ZL1 or what have you. Anyways, so yeah, again, a 5th or 6th gen Camaro with maybe Z01 and SS style bumper upgrades, hood options, you know Rockstar gets really creative with that type of stuff. That might give us a base model looking Camaro but then it has a bunch of different crazy upgrades to make it look like higher trim levels. But that would be a great addition to the game and finish off that one modern muscle car we're missing from the Ford, Dodge and Chevy Trio. We of course have the modern Mustang, Dominator GTX, the modern Challenger, the Gauntlet Hellfire, we're just missing <laughs> the Chevy, we're missing the Camaro, the modern Camaro. You know, we have a few classic Camaros in GTA, but that modern one is all we're missing to really finish it off, and I really hope we get that in the future. It's something I would really like to see in the game. Moving on to number eight. For those of you who played Midnight Club 3, you'll remember this crazy concept car, and that is the Cadillac CN. This mid-engine V12 supercar was made to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Cadillac, hence the name Cien, which is Spanish for 100. It had an experimental 750 horsepower V12 engine with sort of the activation. Its design was inspired by an F22 Raptor, and it's just a truly beautiful car in my opinion. I believe this would be an awesome addition to GTA, and cool to see the first Albany branded supercar in the game. Moving on to number 7, the Mercedes SLR McLaren. This car is more along the lines of a supercar, but imagine if Rockstar were to add this in the game as a sports car and give it a speed on par or maybe even faster than the Pariah. I think that would be a great addition to the game, but even in the supercars class I still think it would be really cool. It is a great looking all around car that I believe a lot of people would purchase. Moving on to number 6, the first generation Acura slash Honda NSX. Almost everybody loves the NSX. It's a very unique car that was very well made with distinct styling. They're very desirable nowadays and I believe it would be a great addition to the game. The customization options for this car could be insane like having it stock with the pop-up headlights but then offer the fixed headlight upgrade options similar to the facelift model so on and so forth. There's many different <laughs> possibilities uh, but I think it would be a very good car and would sell very well in the game. Moving on to number five the infamous Porsche Carrera GT. I've personally never met anyone who dislikes the Carrera GT. Almost everyone I talk to likes it or kind of likes it, but I've never really heard anybody say that they hate the Carrera GT. It's just a work of art from the simple yet unique styling, the insane F1 style exhaust mode from that amazing V10. Manual transmission, no traction control, true driver's car. It was the pinnacle of engineering from Porsche in 2005. Just an all around beautiful car and I believe Rockstar could do an amazing job bringing it to GTA. Moving on to number 4, the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. 
This car was a pure race car developed for the track, and then they made 25 road versions in the late 90s. The looks and performance of this car for its time was just ridiculous. Nothing that was street legal looked even remotely close to it. I think it's a very super unique vehicle and would be a great addition to GTA Online. Who knows, maybe they can give it a name like the Krieger Classic or something along those lines. I think it would be a great car. Alright, now on to the top three. So, number three, the Koenigsegg Regera. Other than its beautiful styling and insane performance, I do think it would be cool to have a single geared car in GTA, similar to the Tesseract, but with engine sound, since that car is not all electric. It's like a hybrid assisted car. Um, I think it would be really interesting to see how Rockstar could integrate that into the game. And I really hope it has the Koenigsegg doors this time. Obviously with the end of the XXR we didn't get those doors sadly, but we got them with the Furia, which is an Italian car. Don't understand why Rockstar did that, but hopefully if they give us the Regera, they'll add it in with that. Moving on to number two. For those of you who played Midnight Club 3 again, I think you'll remember this concept car as well. And that is the Chrysler Mi 412. I absolutely love the styling of this car. It is very unique and different from most mid-engine car designs with the extremely wide back end and a crazy power plant. So to understand its strange name, the ME stands for mid-engined and then the 412 stands for 4 turbos and 12 cylinders. So yes, this car did have a V12 with 4 turbos which is just nuts. They made two of these cars never made it into production, it was just a concept car. They had the show car, and then they had the test mule that actually ran and drove. The car was estimated to reach a top speed of 248 miles an hour, which was just a crazy claim for 2004. <laughs> this would be a great addition to GTA, and would be the first Shyster branded supercar. I think that would be super cool. Moving on to number one, the 1966 Ford GT40 Mark II. And before I get the comments <laughs> saying that it's already in the game and it's the bullet, you are incorrect as the bullet is based on the retro style 2005 Ford GT, not the 60s GT40. So anyways, I really don't have to explain this car that much since the Ford vs Ferrari movie came out and most people already know about the story by now, but to make it short and simple, Ford beat Ferrari at Le Mans with this car in 1966 and won, and it continued to win for the next three years. I absolutely love this car for its design and history. I feel this would be a great addition to the Sports Classics class, and maybe be the king for top speed to take down the Z-Type in that class. I think that would be amazing if Rockstar would do that. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video on the top 10 cars I want to see for the next GTA update. Let me know what it, what's your personal top 10 list that you personally like to see uh, as far as cars to add in the next update. Again, if you want me to do, create a top five prediction video for the next update, let me know down below in the comments. Again, this list was more along the lines of what I wanted to see rather than me trying to guess what Rockstar would add. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.